Hey guys, what I want to show you today is a simple trick you can do to elevate your footage a little, and it's the parallax effect, which usually is done with photos, taking photos and making them move, but with Runway, you can achieve the same effect very easily, and we'll do this using both the green screen tool and the inpainting tool. So I have a clip I'm going to drag into my timeline. It's a static shot and there's very little movement. And so what I want to do is separate the foreground from the background. And in order to start separating the foreground from my background, I'll just duplicate the tracks. So now we have two tracks. And for clarity, I'll rename this green screen subject. And then I'll rename the bottom layer in paint background. So we know what each layer is doing. Really quickly, I'm just gonna trim this clip, try to find parts where the birds aren't obstructing the background, and also trim some off the end. So I'll start with green screening. I'll select my top layer, go into the mask editor, just click a couple times, and of course it's great. I'm very happy with this already, and that looks very good. So I'm back in the editor now, and what I'll do is set scale keyframes. So you'll see why we need to inpaint the background. I'll create a keyframe at the beginning and then one at the end. At the second keyframe, I'll enlarge my image. So over time, it's scaling up. So now you can see when the subject is scaling up, it's still revealing parts of the subject in the background clip, which isn't good. So, so now instead of extracting a subject from the background through green screen, we're gonna fill in that background that the subject is covering through inpainting. So I'll go to inpainting and just simply draw over my entire subject. I probably could have used a larger brush size for this, but that's okay. And then we'll leave it to runway to fill in that background information. And there we go, that looks, that looks great. And so we've taken each the foreground and the background and separated them into two. And if we're scaling in the same direction, we'll wanna vary the speeds a little. So I'll scale this up a little bit more aggressively. And now we have essentially a push-in shot with layers undergoing one motion at different speeds. And it creates this parallax character. And another popular thing I can do here is I can switch the direction of the scaling. And this is known historically as the dolly zoom. And it creates this very surreal cinematic quality to your footage that otherwise didn't have much motion. So it's cool that I can do this to my video when otherwise it's a photo effect, and I can do this very fast with runway. And that's how you create the parallax effect. 